Okay, so here they tell us the statement 2 plus 0 is an example of which property? Well, here, 0 is the additive identity. Identities do not change the inputs or, or other values they're being added or multiplied to. So 2 is not being changed by adding 0. So it's 0 is the identity for adding, for addition the additive identity, which is what we have here. But let's look at the other cases, right? First of all, if we had 2 times 1, and this equaled 2, well, 1 is just the multiplicative identity. And that just means, what is the number when you're multiplying that will not change your value? Well, that's 1. 1, right, group of 2 is still just 2, so 2 remains unchanged. The associative property would be an example, let's say you have 2 plus negative 1 plus 1. Well, that's 2 plus 0, right? But you know that because you could think of negative 1 plus 1 first, which would be the same thing as 2 plus negative 1 in parentheses plus 1. When you just shift the parentheses, not the actual digits, that's the associative property. Commutative property would be moving the digits around. Additive inverse is when you're just adding two numbers that are opposites, and the result is zero. Um, and the distributive property is when you're multiplying a number over addition, let's say, or subtraction. So 3 times 2 plus 1 is, of course, 3 times 3, but you could think of it as 3 times 2, so multiplying the 3 by the 2 over addition, plus 3 times 1. And that's the distributive property. All right, hope this helped.